Greetings and welcome to my channel. My name is Armin. In this video, I talk about correct boundary conditions in ANSYS. Of course, it is used in any CAE software. Here, you can see one-dimensional and two-dimensional beams. One-dimensional beams have a longitudinal displacement. Two-dimensional beams have displacement in the Y direction too. Therefore, we cannot fix all degrees of freedom of boundary conditions of 2D beams because high artificial stress occurs in fixed boundary conditions. To clarify this problem, I'm going to model a one-end fixed support beam in ANSYS. Let's get started. First, I'm going to select a static structural toolbox and set the analysis type to 2D. Then, I'm going to open Geometry. OK, this is Space Glam Environment. In Design tab, I'm going to select Sketch Mode. At the bottom of the graphic window, we can see four icons. By clicking on Plane View, we will see the normal plane view. I want to sketch an XY plane, so I'm going to change the plane. By clicking on the rectangle, I'm going to draw a beam. By pressing tab on the keyboard, we can switch dimensions. By double pressing escape and clicking on end sketch editing, a surface will be created. Now I'm going to close geometry and open the model. I am waiting for the model to open. First, I want to generate a default mesh. I don't change any option. Then, I'm going to add a longitudinal force to this way. I want to specify force in X direction. I think 100 newtons is okay. After that, I'm going to add a fixed support at the end of the tube. I want to see effect of it on stress result. After calculation, I'm going to add von Mises stress. We can see a very high stress in this area which does not occur in reality. Because the beam becomes thin near the support and the fixed support prevents it. To address this issue, I'm going to delete fixed support and only fix the end of the beam in the X direction. Also, I'm going to add a fixed point. This makes the beam move freely in the Y direction. After calculation, we can see stress contour of the beam which is uniform.
Now we can see factor of safety in this way. Magnitude of force was too low. I'm gonna increase it. Also, I'm going to add a transverse force on beam. Answer is reasonable, but we have to check mesh convergence. I'm going to right click on equivalent stress and select convergence. Here we changed allowed change. For example, I want the stress to change by only 5%. A solution was repeated and the answer difference was less than 5%. Here we can see finer mesh. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel.